Eric Mwade, Mwade.com with another mentorship video. I want to take a look at the dollar which is showing a nice move this week being Wednesday and it is up 2.4% and the main thing here is this nice rebound has come after the dollar had been struggling the last couple of weeks off the highs as you can see this drift and as of this past weekend I had made a video where I talked about the possibility of this instrument being the dollar to bouncing and my reasoning was very simple I was basing that argument on the previous breakout on the weekly so that breakout which began the move here in the RSI breakout corresponding with that price breakout and of course we always draw a line from there we can see this line happen to be around the 50 so uh, when the dollar was back just below the 50 line is when I made the video suggesting that more than likely even though it's been pulling back and at the time it was trading at about 93 just a little bit above 93 it looked like it could be going lower but this uniformity principle was good enough to give us an idea of what was going on and also there was another line and I'll show you the video here in a couple minutes here you can see this line also connecting the lows is what I was discussing and came close there and since it had come back to this level here my thinking was that the stock itself or the dollar would have a chance of bouncing I also talked about the daily and on the daily just want to go back here maybe show one and a half year daily chart just to show you what, what I was looking at remember we can see that off the lows it's very simple off the lows here the dollar went on a nice move higher it never went back to those lows here so we know that we can see that the RSI did make this move so we draw a line something like that corresponding with that RSI movement which happens to correspond with that price movement we draw a line from there and my thinking was that this looked like it was going to be a triple bottom or at least some type of uniform activity back above this line would be the signal that the dollar was due for a bounce anyway so let's go to the video that I recorded about three four days ago during the weekend let's take a look at the dollar that was not what I was looking at all right so this is the USD okay got it and let's go back three years on the weekly man sometimes these symbols can confuse you or at least you can type some wrong symbols and you can see we've had a big drop over the last couple of let's say five weeks or so big drop off we've come off 69.10 remember we traded very well when we were above 69.10 so the movement from here all the way to somewhere here the market was trading above 69.10 so from here to here and now we are below 69 what I want to talk about here is the idea and my thinking that this is probably where it could find support and I'll explain why because based on the breakout level that began the move itself so this breakout in price that broke out in the RSI and in the price that began this massive I mean for the dollar this is a massive spike over a period of many months and so we see that this was where the entry began we drew a simple line around the 50 and you if the market eventually holds the 50 level and bounces back above 50 with uniform activity guess what that's where it suggests that the dollar is finding stability also if we take the RSI lows going back to 2013 late 2013 you can see that they very nicely connect the lows in October 2013 and the lows of about March April 2014 and the current close on the weekly RSI so those two lines should in my opinion give the dollar some reason for stability if not even a reason to bounce after it has come back to its previous ideal entry based on the green line and also support coming from this line connecting the RSI lows so the dollar in my opinion is probably looking to recover based on what I see on the monthly here we can see that we are trading below 69.1 which opens up the possibility that at least we are not as bullish as we were during this period take a look at the daily 
for the dollar and the daily is not as strong as the weekly but all it needs to do is because this was the low that began this nice move so this low here is where the the metal low here and we went on this nice upward move so we know that if we draw a line from there and then another line like that you can see that market oops let me draw that again so the line should be somewhere there we can see that market's been coming back and held here once before which was the lowest there in july 2014 and now we are seemingly potentially forming a triple bottom uh, the key here is as long as we hold above the green line with uniform activity this could be where the dollar finds some stability so yes it's been down and down significantly over the last couple of weeks but i don't think it's broken in fact if you take a look at the uup hourly take a look at the uup hourly and you see that it is showing declining dollar strength and also probably you can say a bullish wedge because if it breaks out above that wedge it might start a short-term spike so yes we are trading and making lower lows in price and yet the rsi are improving so positive divergence and i think that could be good enough to set this dollar uh, for a move high the way you can know that on the hourly the market is about to move that and change the dollar direction is if it can break out about this declining line of resistance on the dollar connecting recent highs like that so if it can move above that that could suggest it could now be building and going higher uh, the key on the hourly is just the fact that we made lower lows but the technicals are improving and i think the weekly is going to come in play and probably the dollar is in my opinion probably about to start moving higher And so you see how when we looked at the weeklies, dailies, and the hourlies for the dollar, the market did give an indication of a bounce, and that's what we have gotten this week. So let's take a look at the UUP hourly, which is, which is something I mentioned in the video you just watched. And we go back to the hourly. You can see on the hourly, at the time when we made that, I made that previous video, you can see that this RSI was showing improvement while prices were making lower lows since then and remember the video was being recorded somewhere around here which is somewhere around here you can see this explosion in price so that positive divergence could be a reason why the market has responded well to the dollar this week now right now we are looking at the hourly it would be nice to mention that we see here a previous break level which is this gap down and since then obviously the dollar has been down you see what the market has done is coming back to test this level here and so depending on what happens if it moves back below that line any movement back below this line here with uniform activity would indi indicate short term pullback here we can also test this by going backwards this way to see how important that line is and we can see that yes the market does respond to that level with that pullback level corresponding with that short term high and also off the recent highs that was the break level which is off this level here so yes somewhere around here any type of uniform activity would confirm a market that would want to be going down solar tan and we've been watching this last couple of weeks here we can see that it is back above 69.1 or at least it is trading above 69.1 now which is good sign of strength it did break above this recent highs so there is a, there there was your reason to start thinking this was going to trade well it's been trading well since we noticed this back a few weeks back we can see that it needs to break out above this recent weekly closing high and that level that needs to be um, taken out is let me make sure 48 0.99 if it can hold above that that's a fresh weekly closing high going back to March February of 2014 so that's one level it needs to contend with otherwise on the monthly we've been talking about 
it's having some representation in this space because it looks like the RSI is just moving to fresh three-year highs and also moving above 61.8 on the monthly. This is the sweet spot. You always have to be aware that this could lead to a big move higher, especially if the market can stay good. On the MACDs, we've been talking about this, that the fact that one of the MACDs is already pushing and looks like it wants to trade at three-year highs. So that's why I've been having an interest in the solar space because of that movement. Now in continuation, I want to review one of the calls I've been making recently over the last, let's call it last two months or so. I've been very bullish on the solar space uh, because of the TNA, which was showing, this is now the weekly. You can see this week it's really collapsing down about 11% and you can see that it's very close to moving below 50. If it cracks below this 50 level this week, it might record an even bigger drop. So. I was bullish on this one and I want to take a look at why it seems to be failing or what to do in this type of situation. Number one, we can see that on the weekly, as of right now, we show that it failed to break out above the previous weekly closing high. So even though there was an attempt here for about three weeks to move above this previous weekly closing high, it never closed above that. So the failure to close above this level here on hindsight was a red flag and now we see this drop so obviously if you were long this instrument at five percent that would have set a trigger for you to consider getting out and obviously by the time it's below or close to eight percent you definitely do need to get out of that position so this did turn out to be a failed breakout and i just want to show you this to show you that even when you have the technicals on your side you're gonna make wrong calls and this was a wrong call on my part now take a look at the break in the RSI going back to this high here so that RSI break in that level was here since then you can see that the instrument has not closed above that even this attempt failed so it hasn't closed above this weekly closing high so we know that this was an important level on the chart and what we see here is there was an attempt to stay above that line as you can see here there was an attempt and during that attempt is when the instrument was moving higher here so that corresponds with this movement but once it failed and moved back below this line here the magenta line you can see that since then it's been down a little bit of a disappointment because on the monthly I was beginning to like the fact that we were breaking out above the previous monthly breaking bre breakout highs or previous monthly closing highs and the level there was 45.83 oops 45.83 we closed above that there in April it looked like this market was due to continue moving higher but that has failed now that we can see what's going on it is obvious that the market has turned negative because if you take a look at the previous RSI break somewhere here and this break in the RSI was responsible for taking the stock off the highs from about 40s mid 40s all the way to the lower 30s and so we can see that this break level there can generate a line that we can draw like that and as of right now we see evidence of the reason why we should not be owning this instrument anymore or the solar space this has become resistance as you can see that was the resistance around this level on the monthly and again we see that uniform activity on the red line which is now becoming a reason to get out or at least confirmation that this is not looking good so what looked like breakout is now not working out and we can see that the same line that killed the previous rally early 2014 this same line on the uniformity has given us two sell signals on the monthly here corresponds with this RSI resistance and now here confirming that this close and negative month there is the reason why this has failed one of the reasons why I did like this about a couple of weeks ago is because the main MACD looked like it was making three-year highs so it did meet the minimum requirements 
But here's evidence that just because the stock meets your minimum requirement doesn't mean that you should not set stops. And we see that if you had set a stop and if you are watching the technical stand here, the stock did indicate that it was not in good favor. One of the stocks that I was bullish on, CSIQ, is also down about 12%. And, you know, this one has failed also. And this was one of the ones that I was thinking was doing well based on the monthly. Before we go to the monthly, take note of this break in the RSI. It is always important to go back to what the, where the stock broke down or where the stock began moving. So there was a break here, which is off this movement of the highs early 2014 we can draw a line here which happens to be somewhere around there and you can see uniform activity rejection here for this highs and if you sold there or went short you had a chance of owning an instrument that moves from forty dollars all the way to about higher teens about seventeen eighteen dollars we come back here again and we seem to have seen this resistance and rejection on that same red line so what i thought was a buy has been rejected by the market. Obviously, stops could have been um, used there to prevent any um, any further losses. Now, if I come back to the monthly chart, we see that the monthly chart is not looking that great. In fact, now I have to. Now, I was basing my call on C on CSIQ being a buy based on the solar ETF, which was breaking out. On the monthly RSI was breaking out I want to explain this because it's good to understand where I made a mistake here and this is also me going back and looking at what I I did wrong so the solar ETF was breaking out to three-year highs there about a month ago it looks different now and one of the MACDs was also close if not already trading at three-year highs so my thinking was okay the RSI is breaking out and the MACDs are seemingly breaking out, we need to have some representation in the solar space. But now if you take a look at CSIQ, you can see that a couple of things. It is not moving above, it was not moving above 69.1 for me to give it, or to, for me to consider it as a buy. So there was my first mistake. Secondly, we are obviously not trading at three-year highs on the RSI. So the three-year RSI highs didn't, were not met. So there's another mistake I made because we didn't see the RSI move to three-year highs. This goes to show you that even <laughs> somebody like me who's been doing it for a long time and actually looks for minimum requirements, I made a, a judgment error there. We also see that the MACDs, none of the MACDs is trading at three-year highs. So there was kind of a red flag as to why this could not work out but remember I made the mistake because I was basing this on the big picture and the big picture was the solar ETF itself was did meet the minimum requirement and by extension whenever you see the ETF meet the minimum requirement more than likely the stocks within the ETF or within the sector are also going to correct some of their mistakes so here we see a, a situation where I got it wrong or at least the market proved me wrong and we go back and check why that was wrong and we see that this instrument did not meet the minimum requirements if we go back a couple of years here let's go back about six years when CSIQ was staging this major move here that major move in CSIQ happened to be when the instrument was moving to three-year highs it moved to three-year highs in 2013 there was a breakout in the RSI there to three-year highs. So there, there you have your three-year RSI move minimum requirements. So that's an S. So that's minimum requirement number one was met here in 2013. And also we see that in 2013, the RSI was also making a three-year high on the secondary MACD. So we have the MACD also at three-year highs. And that's the reason why they, this instrument did perform better in 2013 after the breakout because it did meet the minimum requirements on the MACD, minimum requirements 
for the RSI and now we see that that was the reason why we had this major drop. In the current market, I have to, to apologize there for a little bit overlooking the fact that the stock itself was not giving us ideal um, buy signal because it did not meet the minimum requirements. Otherwise, Eric Mwade, good luck, peace and blessings. We do get them wrong. We have to make sure that we do follow uh, simple principles. And before I go, I want to show you just one more stock. Just bear with me. PBR, which is down also this week already, and it's it's Wednesday. It's down about 9%, 10%. And I just want to show you that this is because based on the previous analysis I had done on this stock, I had shown that this was the previous break level. It failed here, which is off this break. And after this break, you can see that the stock did go on a massive plunge, moving from $16 all the way to under 10 And again, if we extend that line, it gives us a good sell signal because just throw it simply like that. You can see what happened here is again would come back and break below that line which was off the highs at about $18 and after that the stock went all the way to five major break and now what I was talking about and I will include the video here towards the end you can see here we did recently form a double top on the very important line this uniformity line and once you see that my thinking was that this instrument was going to stall and it's doing that and also we see that this was a line based on the previous let me change colors here so based on the previous lows here which was support market came back and broke below that and my thinking was that this could now become resistance so this was a break level here market has come all the way back was testing that level and since then it's coiled down so I'm gonna include the video here towards the end so you can at least look at my analysis at the time when I made those comments that PBR was probably due for a pullback but the main thing here is the uniformity line which was now showing double top double top means that the signal is double important suggesting that there is a drop imminent otherwise Eric Mwade, Mwade .com, I'm gonna include my analysis going back about two weeks on PBR. Peace and blessings. Woo! E A C S. And now the video from about one or two weeks ago. But another speculative name that people have been playing. It's not speculative in the sense that it's a real company. But I just want to show you a couple of things. And this goes back to my weekend analysis on world markets. This is PBR Brazilian stock and you can see that this was the breakpoint that began this huge slide took it from 15 all the way to 5 big slide so we are now back testing that line one area of concern secondly there's another level here which was this breakpoint in the RSI began oh, let's draw that correctly something like that and you can see what I'm getting at this was sell signal when we broke below this it was a sell signal which was somewhere here at it's called about $18 and keep in mind that when it was above the blue line this period corresponds with this nice move period so clearly the stock has come back to where it's it's been either moving above or below if it's to do well it needs to be above those two lines otherwise PBR could struggle around here curiously enough and this is interesting this is the level it needs to move above and that level is at ten dollars and ten cents so ten dollars ten cents was this closing low all right what is interesting is that is the high of last week 10 10 so clearly the market is paying attention to this previous weekly closing low and obviously if this stock is to do well it needs to be trading above 10 10 which is the high of last week intraday so this has become also a resistance line the previous weekly closing low going back to early 2014 so clearly RSI resistance and price resistance suggest that for this stock to do well, it needs to be above 
the RSI resistance and above 1010 on the weekly charts. 